Hello friends, we are back with our new video. In this video, I will discuss how to draw nested categorical box plots in R or R Studio using ggplot2 that you can use for your official presentation or in your publication. All the codes we discuss here are available in the video description. Feel free to copy, paste, run and learn. Just in case you want to draw a single box plot or multiple box plots together that are not nested, we have two separate videos on those topics. The overall process involves several steps and I will discuss stepwise. Let's begin. For illustration of the full procedure, we will use the dataset salaries from the R package car data. So first we install the package car data using the function install.packages and call the function into R using library. Then using the function data we load the dataset into R. Here the first argument is the dataset we want to load and then we need to set the package equals to the name of the package that contains the dataset. Once we run the codes, the dataset is available in the R environment. Next, before we proceed further, let us check the data structure. Here we use the function str. We can see that the data is available as a data frame and includes six variables, rank, discipline, years since PhD, years of service, sex and salary. Note that the variables rank, discipline and sex are factors, not just simple characters. This indicates that the data is already much processed. If you have your dataset in an Excel sheet and you just load into R, these features will not be available automatically. You will need to do the processing by yourself. To clarify, we will illustrate the data processing first. For that, first we write the dataset salaries to an Excel sheet salaries.xlsx. We need the package write Excel for this. So, we install the package and call into R using the functions install.packages and library. We use the function write underscore xlsx. The nested categorical box plots arise in a situation where we have two categorical variables treated as covariates and one continuous variable treated as response. Here we pick two categorical variables, rank and discipline, and consider the variable salary as response. Hence we select the columns 1, 2 and 6 only representing them. Ok, next let us see how the excel sheet looks. I hope everyone is pretty familiar with this. If you have your dataset in an Excel sheet, start here. Next, to read the data from the Excel sheet, we need the package read Excel. So, we install the package using the function install.packages and call the package using the function library. Next, we read the data using the function read underscore Excel. Once we run the code, a table with name data will be generated. Next, let us check how the table looks. The three columns represent the columns of the Excel sheet. A table is an advanced version of a data frame. We can now proceed to draw the box plots. We will need the package ggplot2. So we install it and call into R using the functions install.packages and library similar to the other packages. Next, type ggplot within brackets the argument data equals to the table data, then within aesthetics 
set x equals to rank because we want to keep the ranks assistant professor, associate professor and full professor along the x axis y equals to salary divided by 1000. We change the actual scale dollars into thousands of dollars. This is optional. It makes the salaries easier to read from the plot. Then fill equals to discipline. This allows to fill the box plots of the two disciplines A and B denoting the theoretical and applied researchers respectively using two different colors plus geom box plot a blank bracket now press enter okay you get your first nested categorical box plots there are many things that we need to change let's do step by step first note that the x axis is ordered alphabetically but a reasonable ordering should be assistant professor first, then associate professor and then finally professor. To solve this issue, let us check the data structure first. Note that the categorical variables rank and discipline are just characters but not factors, unlike the processed ready-made salaries dataset. So, to fix this, first we have to convert rank into a factor with the ordering assistant professor, associate professor and then professor. So, next we perform some processing. First, we create a vector ranks and retain the ordering we want. Then, first convert the variable rank into a factor with the ordering of the levels we want. Then we also convert the variable discipline into a factor. This is optional. Finally, we convert the scale of salaries from dollars to thousands of dollars for convenience. Once we run the codes, now note that the variables rank and discipline are factors, not just characters. Next, just run the codes we used to create the first ggplot except dividing the salary by 1000 as we have already done it in the processing step. Now press enter. Ok, you get your second nested categorical box plots. Note that the ordering of the x axis has changed into the ordering we wanted. Next, note that the axis labels are less informative. You might want to change the factor labels to make them more informative by replacing AST prop by assistant prof, then ASOC prop by associate prof and prof by full prof, A by theoretical and B by applied. To do that, replace the labels of the variables rank and discipline by two vectors of the words we want that is assistant prof associate prof and full prof for the levels of rank and theoretical and applied for the levels of discipline next just use the same codes we used to create the second gg plot now press enter Ok, you get your third nested categorical box plots. Note that the levels of rank and discipline have changed and they appear way more informative than earlier. Next, note that the box plots do not have error bars. To add the error bars, add stat box plot geom equals to error bar within quotes. Note that we add this before geom box plot. The ordering is important here. Now press enter. Ok, you get your fourth nested categorical box plots. Note that the error bars are now added. Next, you may want to add a plot title or you may want to change the axis titles. 
Suppose you want to add a figure title, say salary comparison. Also want to remove the title of the x axis as this does not carry any extra information. And replace the title of the y axis by say 9 month salary in thousands USD. To do that add gg title within brackets salary comparison within quotes. This adds the title plus x lab within brackets null. This removes the x axis title plus y lab 9 month salary in thousands USD within quotes. This changes the y axis title. Now press enter. Ok, you get your fifth nested categorical box plots. Note that the titles have changed to what we wanted. Next, you may want to enlarge the fonts of the plot title, the y axis title, the axis labels and also you may want to place the plot title near the top center. To do this, add theme then within brackets axis dot text equals to element text size equals to 18 this enlarges the axis texts axis dot title equals to element text size equals to 18 this enlarges the y axis title then plot dot title equals to element text size equals to 20 this enlarges the plot title and h just equals to 0.5. This places the title near the top center. If you want some different font sizes, choose accordingly. Also note that we are storing the layers so far into p for convenience and we will add the subsequent layers on the top of p Print P0 prints the ggplot. Now press enter. Ok, you get your sixth nested categorical box plots. Note that the fonts of the plot title, y axis title and axis labels are larger now and the plot title is near the top center. Next note that the legend needs some changes. The legend title, legend texts, legend keys all need to be enlarged. Also you might want to place the legend within the figure, say near the top left corner. Additionally you may want to capitalize the initial of the legend title. To do this add theme then within brackets add legend dot text equals to element text size equals to 18 this enlarges the legend texts that is the words theoretical and applied then legend dot title equals to element text size equals to 18 this enlarges the legend title discipline then h just equals to 0.5 this places the legend title in the top center of the legend. Then legend dot key dot height equals to unit 2 comma centimeter within quotes. Then legend dot key dot width equals to unit 2 comma centimeter within quotes. These enlarge the legend keys. Then legend dot position equals to a vector 0.2,8. This places the legend near the top left corner. The small first value 0.2 indicates we want the legend near the left side of the plot and the second value 0.8 indicates we want the legend near the top side of the plot. Then guides fill equals to guide underscore legend title equals to discipline within quotes with a capitalized D. This replaces the legend title with the capitalized initial. 
Now press enter. Okay, you get your seventh nested categorical box plots. Note that the changes we wanted in the legend are done. Finally, although optional, you may want to change the colors of the box plots. To do that, pick two colors you want. For example, we choose two colors based on Google search. Then create a vector of colors where the colors will be repeated three times that is the number of categories on the x-axis. If you have more than two categories for the legend, you need to select the same number of colors and then repeat the steps similarly. Finally, additional to the previous layers, add scale fill manual values equals to coals, where coals is the vector of colors. Now press enter. Ok, you get your final nested categorical box plots. You might consider this plot for your publication. If you find this video helpful, please like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel and press on the bell icon for more updates.